what's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on today's video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notification bell, and if you want me on the panel, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. But let's get it popping and get into today's video. And today, we have great news, bro. <laughs> we have outstanding news. Per Mike Coppinger and per other reports, Terrence Crawford versus Sean Porter is not going to purse bid. And it's not going to purse bid because they have reached an agreement and the fight is official. Per these reports, bro, let's talk about what this means and break it all down in this video. But before we do live show tomorrow night, Wednesday night, it's going to be a special show, man. I got a surprise for y'all, bro. We're going to be doing something different. So y'all stay tuned to the community page. Y'all stay tuned and turn on your notifications so you can see when we drop the thumbnail for the um, for the live stream, you know, exactly what it is. That'll be at 7.30 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. You got knocked the F out, episode number 10. Y'all come hang out with me tomorrow night for a fun night of boxing talk. We also got our new live show that we're going to be doing with the Singing OG, KQKC Boxing Network, 12.30 p.m. Uh, I'm sorry, 10 a.m. on Sundays. Um, Sunday morning boxing talk, man. It's going to be a fun-ass show. So really looking forward to collaborating with the OG. We'll do it over on his channel. Then we'll come over here and do it on my channel. So again, y'all got to turn on your notification. You got to pay attention to the community page so you can know when I'm going to be live and what platform I'm going to be going live on. But back to this announcement, bro. It's official. And we dropped a video yesterday about if this goes to purse bid, who we think is going to win. And we also been talking about extensively that this is in the best interest of top rank to get this shit done, bro. Because they don't want to have Tiafimo Lopez fighting off platform. Tyson Fury in a joint promotion fight where they keep having money go to other platforms and other entities instead of being able to keep the majority of the money they sell. And that's not in their best interest. So it's in their best interest. Since this fight is mandated by the WBO, it would be in their best interest to do whatever they need to do to make sure this fight doesn't go to purse bid so that they, because you got to work out the deal before you have competition, bro. It's best, while they don't have competition, while they were in this negotiation window, it's best for them to get the fight done. It looks like that's what they did, bro. It looks like that's what they did, and I couldn't be more excited, bro. This finally answers a ton of questions that I personally have and a lot of boxing fans have, and it's no more excuses at this point for either of these fighters, bro. It's no more excuses at this point. No more naysayers can say anything. This fight will answer a lot of questions. So here's what I don't want to have happen, bro. Here's what I don't want to have happen. I don't want people, if Terrence Crawford goes in there and dominates Sean Porter, this is what we can't do as boxing fans. And as, you know, whoever you root heavy for, Earl Spence fans, I'm born and raised in Dallas, Texas. I'm a huge Earl Spence supporter. But I'm here to tell you right now, bro. I don't want to hear shit about Sean Porter being Earl Spence's leftovers. I don't want to hear that shit if Terrence Crawford goes in there and beats him. I don't want, if, if Terrence Crawford pulls this off and dominates Sean Porter or wins, period, bro. If he's able to win this fight, he deserves full credit. He deserves full credit from everybody, bro. I don't care who you root for. I don't care if you like him personally, business moves. Like, I have my own criticisms of Terrence Bud Crawford. But inside that ring, if he pulls this off, he gets full credit for that shit, bro. He has to. Because we would give any other fighter full credit for beating the Sean Porter, bro. Sean Porter goes in there and fights Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao would get full credit. Sean Porter fights Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz would get full credit. Sean Porter fights Danny Onis. Danny Onis would get full credit. Sean Porter fights Jerron Ennis. Jerron Ennis gets full credit. And y'all might be like, well, knockout, why you bringing up all these prospects and shit? Because he done fought all the champions and shit. He done fought all the other top-level guys not named Terrence Crawford. You name one. Earl Spence, Sean Porter fought him. Keith Thurman, Sean Porter fought him. Danny Garcia, Sean Porter fought him. Kel Brook, when he was at his apex, Sean Porter fought him. Devin Alexander, when he was the man, Sean Porter fought him. Udinas Ugas. When Udinas Ugas was a top-level contender, Sean Porter fought him. So, Sean Porter is everybody's leftovers if you want to have that logic, bro. If you want to have that logic, he everybody leftovers. We can't do that because he's been very competitive in every single fight that he's been in. 
And he just, and and so we gotta have that same standard for Terrence Crawford. This is a top level fight. He's fighting a top five welterweight. This makes his resume astronomically better if he's able to win. All right. And that's just a spade being a spade. So we got to get a man full credit if he goes in there and wipes the floor with Sean Porter. Or just beats him, bro. Sean Porter on your resume ain't shit to scoff at, bro. We're not going to denigrate the win. We can't downplay the win because you may not like some Terrence Crawford fans, bro. Or you may not like some of the stuff that he said or some of the stuff that he's done. You got to separate that shit. You got to separate that shit and you got to call a spade a spade. And the spade here is... This is a high level fight. All that leftover shit, I'm not trying to hear that, bro. If you if you calling Sean Porter Earl Spencer's leftovers to try to denigrate a win if Terrence Crawford was to win, bro, you ain't really on that on this boxing shit like that. You you got a certain agenda, certain narrative and shit that you pushing, and you ain't really into the sport like that. Cause everybody that's into the sport that I know personally, that I know that's making content on here, that I know in my own personal life that really love boxing, bro. Everybody know this is a big ass fight and this is a tough ass test for Terrence Crawford. So he passed his test, he get full credit for passing the test. And vice versa. Vice versa for Sean Porter. Look, for Sean Porter, you've been doing a lot of shit, bro. You've been calling fights. You got your podcast on. You know what I'm saying? I just read a quote from you yesterday where you was like, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be a great fight. I need some more confidence from you, homie. This your last shot, bro. I need some more focus and I need some more confidence. I ain't saying he not focused, but he needs to get this the level of uh, the attention to detail and the level of focus that it requires and that it deserves, bro. I don't want him to be there just to put on a close fight. I don't want him to be there just to go to war. He need to be there to win, bro. He got to be in the best shape of his life. All them distractions, the Porter Podcast, the Porter Way Podcast, great show, bro. That ain't where your bread is buttered, bro. That ain't where your bread is buttered. It's time to get down, bro. It's time to get busy. You need to get locked in because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You could get knocked out for the first time in your career if you don't go in there at your best. And you could go in there at your best and still get caught with something. That's how good I believe Terrence Crawford to be, bro. Make no mistake about it. You go watch all my Terrence Crawford videos, yeah, business-wise. Some of the stuff he said, some of his energy towards certain entities and certain people. I don't like that shit. But you ain't never heard me denigrate his talent or, or negatively criticize his talent and what he can do in that ring and what I believe he's capable of. So if you Sean Porter, bro, you you very talented yourself. You are by far the more battle-tested of the two fighters. And maybe that can go to your advantage. But let me tell you, it's not going to go to your advantage if you focused on calling the fights and being an analyst and shit. That one foot in, one foot out shit, bro, going to get you mopped. That one foot in, one foot out shit is going to get you mopped, bro. It straight is. You need to tell Fox. You know what I'm saying? You need to tell NBC. You need to tell Trillion. need to tell whoever else. You ain't announcing no more fights till after November 20th, bro. You need to be in camp yesterday for this shit. You need to be in camp yesterday for this shit. Because one thing we know about Terrence Bud Crawford, he in shape. He could probably fight tomorrow. And Sean Porter ain't never just walked around out of shape. That ain't what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, I don't like all the distractions, bro. I don't like all the, like, because that shit take energy. That take time. That takes studying. You know, you got to know the fighters and shit. You got to get on flights and go to these events. You know what I'm saying? You got to be in airports traveling and shit. You need to be boxing, training, resting. Boxing, training, resting. It's the biggest fight of your career if you Sean Porter. And I know y'all might say, well, knock out. He had all these other big fights. How this the biggest fight? Because this is his last shot, bro. Everybody reach a turning point in their career where they either have a renaissance or they become... Prospect stepping stone, bro. Everybody have it, bro. Everybody have it. And if you don't have it, it's probably because you retired early. I lie, Andre Ward, because you was next level generational talented like Floyd Mayweather. But most fighters had that moment where they go from champion, elite, to stepping stone, bro. And this is Sean Porter's last shot, bro. If he loses this fight, who he gonna fight? If he loses this fight, what's his next way for a championship? He got to wait on people to move up, vacate belts. By then, what, that's two, three years from now, he's 35, pushing 36. Jerome Boots in his Virgil Ortiz, they young, hungry lines. They probably champions. Those are the type of fighters he would have to fight in order to become champion again if he loses this fight. And he would have to fight them maybe two years from now when they in their prime and Earl Spence has moved on to 154. Um, Terrence Crawford is closer to retiring and shit. Yudinus Ugas is closer to retiring because he like 36, 35 or some shit. 
So he's in there with them, bro. If he can't beat one of these guys of his era and become champion again and get back in the mix for these, you know, top-level, pay-per-view, um, huge unification fights, if he can't beat Terrence Crawford, he going to be waiting for a while. And ain't no telling when he'll be able to get his next shot. So for me, this the biggest fight of his career because when it's your last shot, when it's your last shot, bro, you 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 better take it, homie. You you better take it. Grab that bull by the horns and get busy. And so all this analyst shit, bro, all this podcast shit, you need to tell somebody to hold that down for you because this requires your undivided full attention. I'm just keeping it real with you, bro. And he too, obviously, if he beats Terrence Crawford, same thing, no excuses. I don't want her shit about, oh, that ain't shit. That ain't shit. Terrence Crawford ain't fought nobody at 147. Oh, that ain't shit. Oh, he beat Terrence Crawford. We all knew Terrence Crawford was chinny. He got rocked by Gamboa. Like, I got these questions about Terrence Crawford, too. But we ain't going to act like the man ain't got pound for pound talent. We ain't going to act like he wasn't undisputed at 140. We ain't going to act like he ain't knocked everybody out at 147. We ain't going to act like, to most observers, most analysts, right, most people that really follow this boxing, you either got Terrence Crawford number one welterweight or number two welterweight, for the most part. So if Sean Porter's able to beat him, he deserves full credit too. Overall, great fight. Happy it got made. Happy it got made. Hopefully this is a wake-up call to the sanctioned bodies that you should have the power, not the promoters. You mandate these big fights. It's in your best interest. You get a bigger sanctioning fee, and it's in the best interest of boxing. So salute to the WBO. I give them the most credit for getting this shit done, bro. I give the WBO the most credit for getting this shit done because they mandated this shit, and they forced these people to work together to give us, the fans, one of the biggest fights of the year, bro. And congratulations to Bob Aaron for keeping one of his top fighters on his platform, ESPN+. Plus. Pay-per-view is where the fight is going to happen. So congratulations to him for not losing yet another fighter to another platform. And we said he would have to do this because if it went to purse bid, I didn't believe he'd win the purse bid. But overall, I'm excited, bro. I'm excited. Can't wait for the fight November 20th. Can't wait for the week of the fight to break this down. Let y'all know who I think going to win the fight because you know your boy is right. You know, we got an 80% correct rate on this channel we got 100 right and 20 wrong we right at 100 right and 20 wrong so we doing what we do we doing what we do man we gonna do what we do on this one too but y'all let me know what y'all think comment down below hit the like subscribe to the channel share the video turn on your notification bell don't forget about our live show tomorrow night wednesday night 7 30 central time it's gonna be a fun show i'll let y'all know what the topic is either later today or first thing tomorrow morning but i appreciate y'all watching the video enjoy the rest of your day and with that we out of here y'all peace